started talking, she turned it off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me review quickly for uh, next week. Okay, so. Um, Are there tests that week? Yes, there's a test. There's a test every week. <laughs> every week. Every week. Every week. Every week. Don't forget. <laughs> We're not here to have fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, we can, but serious and fun. I didn't get a chance to do the, have you guys, you know, okay. do all the nice pictures, yeah. but yeah. Okay. yes. So our test is here at school? Yes. No, no, not at home. It's going to be here. So what will happen is the way ecology is set up, I can set up the time frame. So the test will only be open for a certain time period. So you have to be here in order to take it. It will be turned on for you as soon as you be able to come. As soon as you come into class, um, when you come to class, is I'm sorry, is that on? It's on. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's on. <laughs> I just want to make sure because um, I want the review to, to also go on in okay. college. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> What will happen is when you come in, uh, say for example your class, we start at 12.30, I will have the uh, quiz open for say maybe the first 40 minutes of class. Mm -hmm. Please make sure you're here on time, you will have a half an hour as soon as you start the exam, as soon as you start question number one, the timer starts and it's going to be for a half an hour that you can answer those questions. Okay. Can we go back and look? What else? Yes. The reason why I set up the quizzes or tests on e-college for a number of reasons. Students like to get their grades right away. Okay, so the grades oh, are instantaneous. I okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't have to. I remember uh, terms ago I would, you know, go on a Scantron and come back and almost get tackled in the hallway. Okay, with the Scantrons because everybody wants to see their grade. So we can do away with that. So you'll know your grade for the exam as soon as you're done submitting your last question. Okay, so instant gratification. Or now, <laughs> or disappointment. Yes. <laughs> now the other thing with that is um, the e-college tests uh, will be saved in your e-college, so I can leave them open for you to study from for previous or for future tests. So if you want to look at the questions to review for your midterm, for your final. You're able to go back and review it and see what you got wrong, okay, and go over that concept. Yeah. Please don't study the question. I had that problem last term. People studied it. Oh, well, this question, I changed my questions. Okay. Um, there's some questions that I may repeat, especially if I see the whole class is not getting that concept. I may repeat that question, but I do change my question. So don't study the question. If you got the question wrong, look at the concept and study the concept, okay. Um, and so that's that with the e-college. Did, did that answer your question? Okay. So no, you don't. You don't do it at home. It, it will be here. I will give you a piece of paper if you need to uh, just write out. If you need to jot out any type of pathways or whatever you need to write, um, and allow you to do that. And then you can just throw it in the trash after, and then that's it. Okay. Um, now, each weekly test will be twenty questions. Um, they're five points each, so you've got to make sure you do well. <laughs> okay, so there's not much room for error. Um, and basically it's to make sure you know your material, okay? The other thing too with um, the tests, most of the questions, they are not straightforward. What is this? Mm -hmm. What enzyme is produced here? It's not like that. Mm -hmm. So what's going to happen is next week's test, I'll give you a little taste of case study scenarios. So make sure you know the information. What I would tell you to do is just make sure you um, obviously read everything, read your PowerPoints. Use your textbook, I would say, as a reference. And I know that sounds strange for me to say that. But what happens is if you feel like you need to go to a disease process or whatever and read it through, you could do that. Um, should you read the book front to, front to back, I wouldn't suggest that only because in the past I've noticed when students do that they confuse themselves up the wazoo, okay? And I don't want that. I want you guys to really just understand the basis of the information and not really get so in depth that you don't even know what's going on, okay? So, <clears throat> use your book as a reference. Um, 
pretty much everything that I say in class and from the PowerPoints is pretty much, I'm pretty straightforward. It's just that my questions, unfortunately, are not straightforward. I'm not going to lie. So <clears throat> the thing here is when you're studying, please try to take the concept that we went over today, some of the things that we talked about, and just try to write your own little case study. Okay, so John has a weakness in his knees or whatever's going on. Okay, so just try to write up your own little case study and try to map it out that way. Okay. So, please make sure that for next week's quiz that you look at all the pictures that are associated with the topics that we talked about. So, I went over all the pictures of the cellular adaptations. Okay, so make sure you review all those pictures. Make sure you also review the pictures of the um, necrosis and the different types of gangrene. So, those pictures will be included on next week's test. The other thing is, please make sure you go through chapter one. Chapter one, I will have, uh, I will use this terminology, okay, even though it's just terms that we went over, but the way I'm gonna ask you these questions is I'm gonna ask these questions in sort of like a clinical type question. So I could give you a scenario and you tell me, okay, is this patient having, uh, or if I give you, say, an example, is this a sign or a symptom? Or if I give you a scenario, is this considered the subjective finding of the clinical case or is this an objective finding of the clinical case? So it's going to be questions like that. Um, and again, these questions that I'm asking you are things that I've seen in NCLEX books. Okay? And like I said, 70% of my exam, I'm not going to get so heavy into the NCLEX questions for you for the first test, but they'll get heavier later on. But um, I do make sure I ask you guys nursing questions, not gen ed stuff, okay, because I'm trying to get you here and not going back, okay. So that's that for chapter one. Chapter four, um, again, same thing, just make sure you go over all the pictures, obviously, that go with the things that we talked about. Please make sure you know the difference between um, everything that we talked about with reversible and irreversible cell injury. And then the pictures that are associated with all the other things that we talked about. Make sure you go through your examples and even as you're studying, I would say to kind of write some more examples, okay, just to kind of help yourself. And um, <clears throat> with chapter seven, very easy. Make sure you know everything there is to know about benign and malignant tumors that we just discussed. Um, please make sure you go through table 7-1 and 7-2 that's in your book. On 7-2, while I'm thinking about this, um, keep in mind, please look at the nomenclature, okay, and get yourself familiar with that. But there is one exception to the rule and that is lymphoma. Even though lymphoma is lymph and ulma, okay, and, and ulma we know is a benign tumor, okay, it's usually used for benign, but anytime a person has a lymphoma, it's usually malignant. This is more so malignancy, so that is the only exception to that rule. <coughs> And then the other thing with chapter seven, please make sure you understand grading and staging and make sure you go over the effects of cancer that we talked about. The effects of cancer, um, like the bone marrow suppression, things of that nature. You're not testing on the markers? And the treatment. No, I'm not testing you on the markers, and the reason why is because um, students have different editions of the book, and um, even though I prefer the old edition because they, they have the better tumor markers than the new edition, so I'm just going to leave it out for right now. So I'm not going to test you. I obviously know what tumor markers are for, but I'm not going to test you on, say, PSA and uh, you know, what is it, B125 and stuff. I'm not going to test you on the individual markers, so don't worry about that. Until I can get a better condensed li list for me. I'm sorry, you said one thing after effects of cancer. Effects of cancer and then also cancer treatments. And treatments, okay. Cancer treatments. Thank you. So just run through, go through the cancer treatments. 
So I think that's a good enough outline. Uh, you guys should be okay for the first test. I'm not worried. All right. Um, make sure you study. Again, if you have any questions while you're studying, um, like I told you, my email goes straight to my phone, and I can email you at any time. If you can email me at any time, I'll answer you back. Um, and I will also have tutoring tomorrow. Um, where the room location is, I don't know for right now, honestly, because I'm so confused with this room assignment. So what will happen is if you want to come for tutoring tomorrow, which I said, what does it start at 2 o'clock? Um, please make sure that you come to the education suite just to confirm the room. Okay, because that, I'm, I'm not sure. Yet. For our next class, are we going to be meeting upstairs? Or okay, yes, for the next class, and there was confusion with that, and I really like it down here because this classroom is more spacious. But for the next class, we I believe we have to go back upstairs, so let's meet back upstairs. But um, if I can reserve this room for the rest of the term, I would prefer this room. So I will send out an email. Let me just email you just to confirm that. I'm sorry. But let me just email because I want to try to switch it if I can. And 12.45 our start time? Twelve No, 12.30 is our start time. 12.45 was just, I apologize, I was with a luncheon with um, some of the other instructors and it took a little longer. Yes. Um, 326, I, we've had algebra in there before, and that's kind of a small room. I don't know if it's It is small. Yeah. Yeah. And let me tell you so. what happened. Um, my section one, I, th this was a confusion. We were there. Uh -huh. And she says, oh, no, you're supposed to be in 216. And I said, okay, well, I didn't know that. And what happened, I had so many students. I had two students standing up. There were not enough cheers in there. Yeah. And plus, the thing is, everyone's taking their test on the computer, and I need every uh, every person sitting at a computer. So, I'm going to try my best to get this reserved as our room okay. Okay, forever and ever. And then um, I will send you an email. I just have to confirm that with the star because, again, I apologize. I was confused with this room assignment because yeah. it was one thing in Campus View for you guys, and it was something else on my schedule. So um, I apologize about that. And yes, class starts at 12:30. This today was an exception. I apologize. I was at a lunch and some other instructors came back a little late. Um, any other questions? Everyone's okay. So I will see you guys. You don't have to sign out. So what will happen is just sign in. Oh, yes, you can turn it off. <laughs> I'm sure they don't want to hear that. Um, you don't